highlights for today i'm going to be reviewing the quick fx tinted moisturizer and i heard that their no shine mattifying primer was good but i didn't see it in watson's so i decided to get this one instead because i haven't seen anybody review it or use it in any of their videos so i'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on this product and one of the main reasons why i bought it is because it only cost 50 pesos but it only contains 10 grams of the product 10 grams isn't much but it can be a lot depending on the product itself like if you only need a little but it's my first time to try it so i don't really know what to expect i'm not really a fan of products that come in a sachet mainly because i feel like it's not sanitary especially if you leave it open but since this one comes with a resealable cap then that's good all right so let me read the product claims it says here that it moisturizes and lightens the skin instantly conceals blemishes and scars helps protect against sun damage i'm looking at the back and it doesn't say how much spf this product contains so if ever you are planning to use this for a day when you are going to be exposed in the sun for a long period of time i suggest you wear a legit sunscreen on your face just to make sure that your skin is protected so the product looks like this i only got a little because i don't know how much product i should get and it's not runny so it's kind of thick but it's not super duper thick I'm gonna apply this product on one side of my face first to see the difference. It has the same consistency as a moisturizer. Well, because it is a tinted moisturizer. I'm just gonna use my fingers. So. Parang walang nangyari. Maybe I expected too much from this product because it says instantly conceals blemishes and scars and I have a lot of scars and it didn't really conceal my scars. <laughs> Alright, so let me just do the other side too. So it didn't really do much. This product has super duper sheer coverage and that's fine. I guess I can use this as like a makeup base or something. I'm gonna add a second layer just to see if it's buildable. So adding a second layer actually covered up my minor acne scars but my major ones like the ones in my chin are still there. Which is totally fine especially for every day and it's a bit sticky. I'm gonna set it with powder. And I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Pure Smooth All-in-One 2 a cake. This is how the product looks like after adding some powder to the face just to mattify it a bit because it was a bit shiny. I was actually gonna do a wear test on this product but looking at it since it has light coverage, I think it's just gonna be like this throughout the entire day. Like it's just gonna have a natural finish. And let me just do the rest of my face and I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm back and this is how it looks like after applying the rest of my face. So while doing my makeup, my face actually kind of looks grayish. But I don't know why because when I swatched it at the back of my hand like earlier, it was a bit orangey. But yeah, it's a bit grayish. But that's just what I noticed. So overall, this product is okay. It only cost 50 pesos and it didn't really instantly conceal my blemishes and scars. But that's fine. Since I have problem skin, I would opt to go for something that has like more coverage, like a BB cream or a foundation. But for every day, this is really good. Especially on those days where you just don't want to wear BB cream or a foundation. Tinted moisturizer. I would actually recommend this product for those people who have less troubled skin. Because it just has like sheer coverage. So since you don't need that much covering, this is a good tinted moisturizer, especially for the price. It's only 50 pesos. Alright, so those are pretty much my thoughts on the Quick FX Tinted Moisturizer. I really hope you guys found this review helpful. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Peace out.